Good morning, this is my birthday, special day. I'm preparing food and something going to happen. This is special food because I am, I love cooking. This is 40 years after my work with prisoner, 40, 40 years. This is birthday party, small party, on my veranda with my uh, the best friends, girlfriends. They coming very soon. Thank you, thank you. It's somebody coming. Grażynka. Grażynka. Champagne. Champagne, champagne. Okay. Come over, come over. Hello, hello, hello. Champagne. All the best, darling. Thank you, thank you. Proszę bardzo. Mariola! And the beautiful flowers. Very expensive. Oh, very special beautiful. Special yes, beautiful. Cake must be visible. Maybe here. Let's sit down. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Lunch is ready. Buy Agnieszka. Always the best, Always Agnieszka. Perfect. 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 Perfect.
or father doctor, mother nurse, uh, such a family, um, beautiful family who prepare life for me that I had no idea as a child that few steps further down is horror, 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 because that was uh, hunger, was people with tears because they lost a lot of uh, members of family. That was really sad time. But for me, it was beautiful childhood. And also, when I was a mm, teenager, Actually, can we just go back one minute? Because yes. you told us an amazing story yes. at lunch about your mum <laughs> three hours after your birth. I, I, I no, I put in Facebook in my because I am quite popular and look after my uh, my um, site or uh, in Facebook's uh, page. Yep. Uh, and I put yesterday that um, be careful, everybody. So, something like that. Um, be careful everybody because in a few, hour, uh, few hours time I will having my birthday with my friends and special surprises. But um, in a few hours um, I will be a um, birthday girl, but in a few hours I born in few uh, in few hours time. And my father who was a doctor in hospital and mother was a nurse what I mentioned before, they, um, they, they prepare labor. And <clears throat> my mother, uh, father was looked after as a doctor and was husband of my mother, of course, and I was ready to go. And then was, I don't know how to call, that was labor, that, that uh, baby is coming by bum well, first. <laughs> Bam, labor, you know, and my father saw that his girl, a girl, and said to my mother, said, Marishu, princess is coming. And my mother said, yes, I'm sure that will be princess. So this is nice story because you, uh, later on, a few hours later, my mother was working as a nurse. My father was working as a wow. doctor and I was little one, three kilos. 200 grams was laying in very small bed in hospital and then I think that my life is different because I'm quite strong very very often I'm by myself and I have to cope with many situations uh, situations very difficult and I, I, I can cope with this you know and the same when I start um, incredible um, adventure with Australia. All right, before Australia, hang on, what were you like at um, okay. uh, a school? Ask me. What was life like at school? Love Holden. it. A lot of admirers, which was very important to me, that I was seven years old and I bring a letter. I said, Janusz wrote this to me. And my mother said, he said, no, I have to talk to the uh, other parents. This is terrible. He wants to kiss her. Um, and my father said, nothing wrong. She she will be, look, she will be exceptional. So seven years old and seven years old uh, um, boy wants to kiss her and cuddle her. And <clears throat> childhood was very funny, very enjoying, uh, enjoyable because of my parents yeah. and place. So good food is very important thing. Uh, you as a father, you should know and you probably uh, understand it that that give you people uh, that uh, give people strength and um, energy yeah. for everything yeah. for everything what you're doing if you are good food in your fridge um, real one that's nothing is uh, should worry you everything will be smooth and uh, uh, when I'm feeding my girls they very noisy. <laughs> uh, I am trying to, to give them the best food in, in town. Definitely, definitely. Question. What's your favorite thing about Poland? What do you love about Poland? I love Poland. At, um, in Poland, I love um, atmosphere. Um, I miss this atmosphere here because in Australia, I am very comfortable. Like you see, I have a veranda in Poland like this. I have small, little flat, which is 47 meters square. 
and no balcony, no terrace, no veranda. Um, but when I am there, it's nothing, nothing what worries me. Here, um, I think uh, lifestyle of people who working hard, or where they la uh, young, they working very hard. Now, of course, my girls uh, have sort of time that it's time for rest, for, uh, time for entertaining. Uh, they, they have good families, but it's very similar day to uh, each other. They yeah. similar. I love attraction. I love a not typical situation. I love the um, trip. Um, uh, I like. Um, where's your some, favorite? Where's your favorite holiday destination? Where do you like to go? Yeah, Starnia in Poland, which yeah. is um, which is um, um, peninsula. Uh, it's, I was first time with parents when I was six, and now I I am quite forty. <laughs> I am forty Turn now. 40. <laughs> and it's my favorite place again. Yeah. But of course, I know Australia, whole, whole Australia. I've been everywhere, almost, of course. Yeah. But, you know, Margaret River, Perth, Darwin, um, Alice Spring, everything. But that's thanks to our Australian Wool Corporation. Because when I came, uh, invited as a model and guest model to Australia in 1970. See, so how, how did that start? How did they get onto you? This is a great long story, but I can tell okay. because with pleasure. That was the, one of the biggest adventures in my life. Um, suddenly, my, my brother, very handsome younger brother, who was working as a model just temporary to he make was, some money yeah. in Poland. Okay. And he said, they're looking after, uh, they look, looking after you because they want to um, organize trip as a guest model. I said, what? Guest model? Me? I'm 32. I am very old. What are you talking about? <laughs> and he said, no, you can't say that you are 26 or something. I said, no, 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 no. But, mm, I have to be very skinny. I always was quite... Um, uh, with sort of um, attribute, uh, women's uh, uh, attribute um, visible. So I said, no, models should be very skinny, very tall. I'm only 175 centimeters, which was very good uh, when I was very young. But after, when model 180, not, I'm not model, Eric, what are you talking about? So suddenly, to make this story shorter, finally I won. And after many thousand women, young ones who came because they, they asked. And these were women in Australia? In Poland. Oh, in Poland. But okay. embass, embassy, yeah. um, uh, direct, uh, director of fashion house, quite few people with this um, wool in the industry mm -hmm. was interested to find guest model for Australian Melbourne show, Adelaide show, and where, where was a Sydney show, um, as a guest model who bring wool fashion from her country to teach Australian people, especially farmers, how to do it, beautiful collection made, made with wool, real wool. And I had beautiful evening dresses, beautiful coats, beautiful everything, every details, but I was showing only national dresses and the rest of Australian model was showing whole collection. That was about one hour and a half show, after was 15 minutes break and another show. And that was official invitation with um, in beautiful palace uh, in Jablona, that was for Premier um, Don Danston who came to Poland to show... The South Australia Premier. South Australia, oh, yeah. yes. South Australia uh, Premier uh, came to, because he was very democratic uh, Premier, so he was traveling around uh, democratic um, countries, and he went to Poland. And they organized for him a um, sort of wool show with Agnieszka only, as a model, to present these um, gala dresses for Australia. So that was really really good adventure. Australia twice, uh, working for Wool Corporation, and uh, plus vacation, plus uh, um, 
a lot of pleasurable moments. Exciting life, exciting. Now let's get into everyone's favorite TV show, Prisoner. How did you get the part of Hannah Yelchman? I have a friend, Mark Rochefort, uh, he was stylist. And he uh, admired me very much. Uh, he, he was telling me, you are like Russian pr princess. You are, you, maybe we will, uh, because he has imagination, wonderful. So he said, you can be Russian princess we can go for party and I will introduce you as a Russian princess um, with blue blood and his imagination was galloping but <laughs> finally he said look I know people um, in Grande organization Grandis, yes. Grandis okay, yeah. and that was Bunny Brook okay Bunny Brook he, she loves you because you are fantastic colorful blah blah and I said okay okay that's so this, is a, this, this is a stylist that knew Bunny Brook. Bunny Brook was um, um, doing these uh, yep. tests. Bunny Brook. Okay. Very old lady. And after I uh, met uh, uh, Grandi um, organization, uh, Jane Russ. Jane Russ, yes. And they told me the test was okay. And I said, yeah, probably don't call us, we call you, because that was Polish impression. Did they, um, did they create this part for you, or was it a part, a character Later, that was already created? For now, nothing, just nothing. test. Okay. After it was a few months, silence. And suddenly... So the character hadn't been developed? No, not yet. Audition. You just went there for a When moment. they rang me, that I have meeting, mm -hmm. Because that Jen Russ, she told me, they're going to prepare a special part for you. Wow. I was unconscious, <laughs> completely. I said, Jesus, that is something. That is not something ready, you know, episode smaller or bigger, but special part. You will be Polish, um, Polish Jewish who was torturing by Nazi. And my reaction was, because it was martial law in Poland, so I said, can I, can I please something very important? And they very surprised, I said, what? I said, can I be German Jewish? Because I said, if I will say that I am Polish and I have sort of line that w girls in, uh, in prisoner, that was uh, in one of the episodes. What will be Hannah if you if you come back to your country, because I escaped, in the storyline yeah. was that you I assaulted escaped. someone over in the, Yes, in yes, the yes, very yes. complicated. <laughs> and um, I said, what happened if you come back to your country? And it was long silent, and I said, they will kill me. And quiet. Girls, very quiet, and they, that was seen later on. Yes. That they, they will kill me. Because of this line, I was begging them, I, will, I have to be German Jew, not Polish Jew. Because, you know, we, we scared because I, I stay longer. I stay longer in Australia than I have sort of three months holiday. Uh, I was asking about holiday in my theater. And then I stay one year. <coughs> so martial law in Poland, so I'm not right with um, government. So I was worried. And I this said, is in your real life? Uh, real life. Okay. So that's why I was asking Grand Organization, I want to be German Jewish, not not Polish Jewish. Okay. Because that's coming to real uh, life, that was rumor around that Agnieszka got part in prisoner. That was sensation. And also was Australian parties. And one of them, I met a girl, very tall actress, because she came to me and she said, are you Agnieszka Perepeczko? I am, I said to her, yes, I am. I am Vir Virginia Hay, actress. Wow. Very attractive. I said, yes, fantastic. Um, how are you playing uh, in prison? Oh, no. She said, I just finished, but I warn you, 
girls for new ones not very nice <laughs> because they playing very brutal in 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 serial so sometimes they thinking that they still in this uh, world in prisoner in private li life they still not very nice to people new people people like you like me finito no life i couldn't sleep i was so nervous this is three days before you were starting yes on prison. yes okay yes maybe before the day something okay. like that okay and i said what i have to do so suddenly i have i know what i should do i went to op shop i bought a very poor jumper very poor shoes not attractive um, everything ra rather poor clothes than than elegant and I said what about hair so I put in little uh, nap nope uh, in behind and uh, and makeup gray everything gray my eyebrows are always uh, dark but I put a bit the gray so, so the clothes that you had on prisoner I, from an op shop that was I want to show day. girls that that's I am Okay. Introduce myself. That was first day for introducing, because after they gave me clothes, but they okay. like my clothes and I keep it. For this, I, I play in this jumper. Yeah. Because they said that's perfect for for this part, and I introduce myself to girls in, with this looks very grey, very depressing, very sad, and with little sort of like that and a bit of dummy uh, so the girls came uh, are you Agnieszka Perepeczko? you have new part can I uh, uh, from from f f foot to 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 uh, head uh, exa exa examinate uh, my looks so I said oh, I was standing like that and said yes um, I, I, I your country Poland yeah, I said yes that's Poland but it's very bad time now why oh, around 10 girls around me <clears throat> so i'm center of attention and i said because it's marsha marsha law I, I i can't contact with my parents and my husband are you married i said yes he's very famous he's very handsome he's very nice but i i impossible contact because they cut lines between uh, between Poland and Australia so I am by myself so I make such atmosphere that everybody full of sympathy almost crying and um, say Agnieszka don't worry we will look after you uh, you have good part will be helpful uh, of course it's a lot of things that we hit you and we <laughs> will be very cruel to you but we love you you fantastic I said well, everything fine. That's sort of that's what I want. This effect. Okay. And then a few days later, I started, yeah. and all the time. But of course, it's um, it's end of uh, funny story on the end, uh, because I was I don't remember a few months there. This part was somebody said that good. My husband, who is very critical, said, "Oh, it's." very Agnieszka deeply moving inside your 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 character um, and I uh, was last day of shooting and then I said I would like to invite you for a little no, lunch but lunch. something small and champagne invite who the cast Kna yes okay cast all all girls and I prepare myself beautifully you know just like the best, the best, what I can from my looks, the beautiful clothes, makeup, everything, well, hair, everything was perfect, and I just enter, <laughs> and everybody, what? And they laughing because they told me if we know that you look like that, <laughs> <laughs> so that was a very, but was a lot of kisses. I was having speech, 
Who came to the lunch? That you oh, had? Maggie Kirkpatrick, that absolutely, um, that was very big part in my life, in, even private life. We yeah. we met each other, and she met my husband, and uh, was uh, Betty Bobbit, um, Bobby, Bobbit, da, yeah, um, and. Um, and and Maxine. Oh, Maxine. Like yes, Bobby and Mitchell. was quite yes. few more, but I yeah. don't remember the names. But that was uh, a lot of love, a lot of tears. So they hadn't seen you look like this, so you've come out. For them, and... there was sensation, and they joking, of course. <laughs> they saying that if you come looking like that, ah, oh, that, that was sort of this reaction, <laughs> and that was of course that uh, everybody cuddling kissing me and uh, was a lot of tears even uh, for this farewell uh, lunch. Yeah. It was wonderful time, Amazing. wonderful. And um, I know that it was big sensation in Poland, but Poland not very energetic to put in newspaper as the first news um, dra about drama, film, actors that Agnieszka got part. Yeah. Um, I don't know, that's prob probably they have some reasons, political maybe, but they not ex expose my Your very career, big, yeah. Yeah. very big step that somebody who came here because of martial law for good um, have such a fantastic adventure. Yeah, wow. So your first episode was 451, written by Ian Smith and Coral Druin. Now your first scene was with Maggie Kirkpatrick, when you're put into the reception area, the police bring you yes. in. Yes, and, and everybody Maggie, doing this. Yeah, Maggie Kirkpatrick said, put her back on a plane yes. and thinks it was all easy. What was shooting that scene like for you, that, the very first scene? For me, adventure. That's always my life is pulsing and, and I know that I... Uh, I still alive, you know, if something happened like that. First day was emotion, uh, a lot of emotion. And uh, when I come back home, um, I was so happy that this happens, you know, yeah. that uh, that was like dream. Because you had that scene and then straight after that scene, you had that shower scene with, with Maggie again in the, and she's trying to put you in the shower. You didn't I, want to have I a remember shower. that was a little me play her name was Sobieszczuk, but I forgot her na um, name. A little girl, Polish one, because she played young Agnieszka when was start oh, torturing by Nazi. Scene. Well, with that nightmare scene, the flashback, yes. Flashback? Yes. Uh, that was a little Polish girl, um, Ka Kasia Sobieszczuk. I forgot her name. I, her name was Sobieszczuk. Um, so, hello. Wow. Do you remember shooting your scenes with Gerda Nicholson, who played the governor, Anne Reynolds? In the yes, office? of course. Every scene, if if I have a look, I remember. Of course, now I lost this. What was first? What was second? What course, was in, yes. in the middle? But all the scene, scene, uh, shower scene, and when I had bad dream, uh, I was the sleeping. Night in the cell. Uh, yes. yes, I was sleeping, and I was doing this. Uh, <laughs> no, something like that. And, that. and actually, that scene is when we saw uh, Maggie Kirkpatrick, you attacked her, yeah. and she woke you up, and uh, yes. we, saw a Hella, we, saw a, yes, we saw a nice side of Joan Ferguson because she didn't report you. She must have uh, felt some compassion for you. Yes, yes. You probably if that was coming from her, maybe that was her pro proposal to, to Grandi, that she would be yeah. sort of full of sympathy. Yeah which we didn't see often from the freak. Yes, um, <laughs> yes, that's right. Now, when you got the part, did you know it was only going to be for five episodes or...? No, yeah, no. I had no idea how long I stay. I think that they have no idea. And they um, checking what I can, that I will be popular or I will be not popular. And after when I was walking in red carpet in Astor Cinema as an actress, uh, from prisoner, I feel like million dollars, you know, Amazing. that was, and I said, Jesus, no mobile phone, nothing, that I can bring this photos, yeah. photos yeah. or little YouTube, uh, uh, or little film um, uh, that I can put on my page in uh, Facebook, that was this time, that 
it was very quiet, not like yeah. that. Not like that now. Now, if the, if would be situation now, photos, yeah. films, everything. Um, I have fifteen thousand my um, followers in in Facebook. Yeah, you're very it, famous on uh, social media. Oh, social media is uh, now is a lot of uh, wishes coming from completely strange people, yeah. completely, and they say Agnieszka, all the best. You do compliments, 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 and I have no idea who is writing because they putting a name and, and, and a surname, but I have no, never met them. Yeah. That's do you um do you remember the scene in the cell? Now you had a hunger strike. You're on a hunger strike, and Myra and Judy came into the cell to give you a sandwich and feed you the yes. sandwich. You remember yes. that scene? Yes. Uh, oh yeah, I remember also a uh, scene when I was eating rolls. And um, uh, I was, they give me sandwich, and I was eating with a very big appetite, and that was I said, look, must be fresh rolls and fresh ham, then I can eat with real appetite. Because if you bring me some very good old bread, it will be difficult. Of course, I can play that. Oh, yum, yum. But it's not that yummy, yummy. I have to show my hunger that really I uh, uh, this is like something miracle. Yeah, yeah. I do need to ask: Was it what was it like to shoot, like to play this character? Was it close to home, close to what you went through as a young child with the war in, in Poland? No, Did that it bring was back any flashbacks or, or? Yeah, no. It's a lot of films this time about concentration camps, still yeah. in Poland. It's very popular. Everything what happened during the uh, Second War, um, a lot of directors who I know personally, many of them not not, not uh, alive, but for me, difficult time in Poland is very difficult to uh, say to people that was hunger, uh, I was sad, crying, my mother was crying. My parents were very positive, but, um, working very hard and was at home. Maybe um, furniture wasn't elegant, maybe some details was uh, very simple. But I have no I, I thought that this life, good life, yeah. uh, happy life, I, I haven't any sort of torture or somebody will be cruel. No. My childhood and my teenager age was, I think, good. Excellent. That's great mm -hmm. to hear. <laughs> Do you remember the scene when you first went into the recreation room where all the prisoners were? But on life? Or on oh, the life? Prisoner, on the show. The scene on Prisoner. Where you had that scene where you walked into the recreation room and you had to be introduced to all the prisoners? In that scene? Yes, but I don't remember dialogue. Yeah, no, of course. Uh, but of course, yes, yes, yes. And um, I, if I remember, I was saying goodbye to them in this uh, lunchroom when I was leaving. But I now I don't remember that was <laughs> real life or that was in in uh, in the show. Okay. That I said goodbye because I am going to Poland. Well, your and they're saying good luck, Hena, good luck, and they, everybody farewell. Yeah. But that's mixing me now <laughs> with real life because it was the same when I organized this lunch. Yeah. But of course, I different look, um, look different. Um, but this was, if I remember, that was seen that I was saying, girls, you're very good to me. I will be missing. I will miss you very, very strongly. And uh, time maybe beginning was hard but now I am bringing these memories to Poland yeah. about you and everybody cried <laughs> that was like that yeah so after you shot your uh, your scenes on prisoner did you sit back and watch the other the other scenes being shot did you sit in the green room or what were you doing in between no scenes? Be between scenes we uh, I uh, normally I'm reading a book in yeah. Poland the same but condition um, in uh, in um, Channel 10 was for me completely different like in Poland because in Poland 
in M jak miłość, czyli L, L jak love, that I was very popular with my character, we have conditions not very good. Because we sitting, uh, if the break was two hours between scenes, I have to sit in bench with other actors. Everybody was uh, sort of, uh, one is telling joke, one is almost sleeping, and every sitting in one bench. That was very tiring uh, for, for actors. It was not good uh, that we can lie down and yeah. drink a coffee, tea. No, because there was no space. Yeah, okay. that was uh, uh, here in in uh, in. The <laughs> but over here it was yes, it was better. that was better, much better. Okay, that's good to hear. Yeah. <laughs> Would you have liked to have stayed on Prisoner longer than the five episodes? At yes, the time? of course. Yeah, I can say, um, I don't know, few years even because. I think that was for me satisfaction. Um, I can talk about uh, after when I finish next book because I wrote nine books. Nine? Wow. For women, mostly. Yeah, men reading this book because they saying that interesting things there. Um, one was about traveling. Uh, I was interviewing the biggest star uh, in Poland. One book was about uh, about uh, trip, about um, traveling. One was about cooking, yeah. and I that's very safe, safe subject because um, I can when I come back from Australia, I was ringing people who I never uh, I was with sc in drama school with them, and I said hello, that's Agnieszka. Where are you? In Australia? I said, no, I'm here. I'm just writing a book and I would like to interview you uh, about your, the best um, trip in your, in your life. Ah, come on for supper, come on for dinner. So that was, I built it up straight away. Uh, my my um, uh, company, my people, my colleagues from drama, from theater, uh, before I go to Australia. So that this book about traveling and cooking, I'm interviewing together uh, 100, uh, 120 actors, directors, oh, sport, wow. uh, sport wow. people, yeah. um, politics, not much, businessmen, um, uh, businessmen, um, uh, who someone is famous and strong and, and uh, then I was ringing and no one refused me. Oh, no excellent. one. And that was, mm, I said, uh, fantastic trip, uh, stars, and mine, sort of. That I'm talking about them, and then I am talking about my, my uh, uh, traveler, yeah. traveling situation. And the same with cooking. I was invite, uh, invited to very, mm, mm, incredible houses in Poland, famous actors, directors, uh, who I never, uh, during the, my, in, uh, to be an Australian, uh, uh, during my, what is public, um, during, uh, like I was in Australia, I never seen them many years, and then uh, when I come back, they say, come over to our house, okay. we're waiting for you. And we, our conversation was I, I, I never um, uh, going for 20 years to Australia or 10 years. That was fantastic because all this um, um, crowd of people, my people, actors, they completely like Agnieszka is yesterday almost. Agnieszka was, wasn't... Um, uh, in 10 years in Warsaw and and now we're talking like uh, very big friends about everything yeah. about trip about cooking about marriages and that my uh, book uh, which I published um, in two, 2001 was the best bestseller in Poland oh, fantastic. and I uh, that was funny because I, I have one slotty from from one book and a publishing house have started this work and now uh, was by mail they selling um, hundred uh, thirty two thousand 
uh, copies. Oh, copies. Yeah, wow. So straight away I bought little car because for this one's worth per per book I can I can um, uh, to buy uh, myself car. Excellent. So, now going back to prisoner to your last episode, which was episode four hundred and fifty six, which coincidentally was Judith McGrath's last episode, who played Colin Powell. Do you remember your last episode with the crazy gunman trying to break you out? Yes. Chasing you around the prison. Yes. Oh, you remind me because I don't remember. <laughs> and suddenly, when you're saying, I, I remember, of course. Yeah. What was that? What was it like shooting those scenes? Every scene, every new subject for me is adventure. That yeah. you, even now, if you say, "Oh, you tomorrow will be going to prison," uh, of course I am ready. Yeah. And if will be somebody will be murdered, murder you? Yes, please. Yeah. Of course, because it's adventure. <laughs> no problem with this. I think the worst enemy. I'm talking about myself, but. For people, I think killing them is that nothing happened. Yeah. Um, work is the same, people the same. Nothing interesting is happening. It's not many many people who can love uh, books or films. Um, uh, they're just waiting for for end. Yeah. yeah. I I think that situation like Agnieszka and prisoner. That was fantastic because that was, I was doing this um, job, photography job, what I said, uh, talking, uh, taking photos in reception, receptions, many kind of, many kind of nationalities, Greek, Polish, Jewish, Lebanese, um, Croatian, um, Yugoslav, Serbian, um, all of them, all around Melbourne. And I was uh, I was um, uh, noticed that people different, um, different way of um, to celebrating weddings, um, dinner dances, um, many interesting things, but hard work, hard, yeah. very hard. Finish two o'clock in the morning, and next uh, only weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I think. This, what happened, that I was working in prisoner, plus working as a, photograph, a photographer, plus writing book on the beach when I'm sitting uh, in Brighton Beach. This, ho this whole cocktail of, of jobs was wonderful. Yeah, wow. Do you remember the, uh, the food in the... Prisoner in the dining room when you're eating in the dining room. Do you remember what the food was like? With food, this is ta uh, touchy, touchy subject <laughs> okay. because I am very uh, sort of sensitive um, about a kind of food. I don't think that will be uh, that was terrible, but nothing really would I like. I like seafood, and, yeah. seafood, beef. Of course, the, in the show was not very good yeah. uh, looking and not very good tasting. Um, uh, pri private, when we going to eat something, was okay, but nothing really uh, exciting. Yeah. But um, this type of food not make me happy. <laughs> but, but sometimes, but sometimes um, was okay. Excellent, excellent. Now I do have some fan questions that when we announced that we're interviewing yes. you, uh, some fans reached out to post some questions. So do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Yes, from of course. fans. So Jay Shaw, who I think is from the UK, said he's really looking forward to watching this. I love her. Can you ask her if she had any reaction from the public for her role in Prisoner? He really loved your portrayal of Hannah. She made one of her one of the most memorable guest characters on the Jesus. show. Jesus, I think this maybe the you wrote. I didn't write. No, these are from the fans. <laughs> because I tell you, I in Poland, I have many letters about Hannah in English. Really? Yes, and asking about uh, autograph and photos. I haven't wow. any photos. For me, it was difficult. Yeah, no and photos. Of course, me. that was. So we recognised. Back then, from prisoner. Yeah, once more. Were you recognised when back in your time? Yes, in prisoner, because yeah. they're watching. I don't know where they're watching. Maybe in 
UK. I don't know where they was uh, prisoner showing, but I have probably um, uh, from Australia. They uh, they grabbed my address. I don't know who would yeah. give them, but I had um, not hundreds and hundreds, but I think about eighty five, something like that. Nice. Letters Excellent. to Poland. That's amazing. Questions. Now, yes. Mark Allen from the UK, who I think holds the Prisoner Bible with all information, he wanted to know, did you draw on any personal experiences to play Hannah, the character? In my life? Real yeah, life? In your real life, yeah. No. No? None whatsoever? No. Uh, because... Uh, that's what I said. My life was very smooth. Uh, family life was very smooth. And after I was marriage, was excellent. Yep. So I can't complain. No, no, that's uh, okay. What I can complain was only that my husband, who was the most intelligent and most good looking and most clever, and uh, he never had this part. He was very famous. He pl famous. He on he played a lot of things um, attractive as an actor, but not what should be because he can sing. She was drama actor, he was comedy actor. And that was, was for me not nice feeling that he should have million times uh, more attractive proposition than he had. And that was his depression inside. I know him. I, know, yeah. I knew him very well. So, about me, no. Life was good. No. Because when I was driving for premiere, first first performance in my theater, I was begging God, maybe it would be accident that I would be still alive, but I can't go to theater. That would be because I was so worried about you know, from nerves that I am. I, I prefer not to, you know, and uh, no, never happened. And uh, finally, I have to play a um, part, yep. um, and that was good. I was 15 years in my theater, but I wasn't uh, um, sort of devoted life. I was attractive life for me is yep. most important. Fantastic. Now, M. Fripp from the UK, who's a very big talking prisoner supporter, she said. I loved Hannah's strength and notability. You had some wonderful scenes with Louise Siverson, who played Lou Kelly. I'm not sure if you remember Louise Siverson. She had that big hairstyle with all the hairspray. Ah, yes. Um, yes. She said, was it difficult to shake off some of those scenes as they were pretty grueling in terms of racism and bigotry? No, no, no. I love it. I love it because that was a very good uh, occasion for uh, good acting and also um, was sort of dramatic what I love it because something happening interesting and I think even when they kick me or they hit me or I have bruises everywhere I think okay more more give me more that was inside me I love it because this is seen with character yeah I know what what inside I am yeah but this is nothing there and feel upset. No, no way. Okay. Now, Davy Johnson from the UK said, Oh, wow, loved Hannah. Do you remember the scene when Hannah had to hide from the gunman inside the dryer in the laundry? Were you really inside the, the dryer? Yes, but that's uh, all this uh, script, what I was read before uh, uh, next day scene, I feel that's exotic. And that is a good material for playing Hannah. Because if uh, Hannah will be playing person who has nothing to say, nothing to uh, make emotion, uh, audience emotion, and my emotion as an actress, that was fantastic. Everything what's happened, unusual. I think that is key for yeah. for whole thing. <laughs> So were you in the dryer or, or, or Yeah, dryer bored? everywhere. Okay. okay, no problem. Okay. okay. Um, Under the car, completely yeah. <laughs> devastated by car, but still alive. Okay, pro welcome. Excellent. 
Uh, now, Mandy Jones, also from the UK, no question, just a comment, said you portrayed Hannah beautifully as a complex character with vulnerabilities and strength. Wow. And as someone who, despite a difficult life, still has the ability to form friendships beautifully done. So the Thank you. I can say thank you. Because that is sort, a sort of compliment what every actress waiting for. Um, I know so many actresses who can kill for this, that they will say, this is about me. Uh, but I will say, no, this is about Hannah Gertrude. Fantastic. Now, before we wrap up, what are you doing now? What do you do for, are you still working? Uh, in Australia? Yeah. And I'm writing a book. Writing books? Um, uh, no, writing now 10, ten number 10. Number book. 10, wow. Yes, number 10. That is all my post from Facebook with my photos because it's easy book because already I done a lot of posts uh, means sort of little speech about some subjects uh, mostly for women to make them strong to make them happy sometimes it's very controversial because I am controversial um, what makes you controversial uh, because it's a lot of uh, uh, sweetness who I hate um, people giving s compliments to each other what means nothing and compliment if it's good quality compliment I am sort of teaching them how to do it compliment is just blah 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 and compliment with meat and character we straight away we know that this person is um, like us accepted I, uh, us and sort of is stunned about us um, but people uh, small talk small compliments nothing uh, nothing important um, and then my post is about something now uh, last post uh, before yes, be, before the, uh, this one about my labor, uh, th that's controversial to, to saying that I'm go going to be born in a few hours. <laughs> mm, my mother this and father this. That's very controversial. But before that, I wrote post about birthday. How life in Australia between people is very is not not the deep subject, not the deep, uh, very deep um, books, theater, and real life, but very shallow compliments, and the most what girls talking to each other is happy birthday. Happy birthday, darling. Happy birthday, Marianne. Happy birthday, Barbara. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Most good day in your life. Come. Happy birthday. And I said, happy birthday is only words. But happy birthday means sometimes friendship, who is not exist, but happy birthday again exist. So my speech about happy birthday, my speech about happy birthday was that not only very shallow subject, happy birthday and nothing else. Happy birthday, what does it mean for you? How, how deep you want and what reason that you are saying happy birthday? What, what means for you that you wish me happy birthday? Because it's such a only sentence. Happy birthday, Agnieszka. Ne? So what? This yeah, means can, nothing. Yeah, yeah. And that was about this subject. Okay. But it's many, many kind of posts, and I put everything together with photos. That is, that is idea. Fantastic. Before we wrap up, is there anything you'd like to add to this interview, to say to the fans that'll be watching this worldwide, all over the world? Oh God, <laughs> that's, that's very difficult, but I will try. I think that that is another adventure uh, and let me uh, tell you something about Hannah Geldschmidt. 
when I was uh, this part in prisoner, it was great, big, wonderful, miracle, adventure, when I was 39 and came to Australia such a not sure person, because that was different person who came to modeling for Australian Wool Corporation in 1976. That was girl full of life, life and, and joy and everything. In 1981, I came here for help. Australia helped me and many people helped me. So I would like to thank you. And when story about Hannah Gelschmidt start, this is another help because they let me be an actress, be somebody who can express yourself and also meet a lot of interesting people, a lot of um, situations. And um, um, I feel um, deeply moved. Uh, I was trying to, to write letter to my parents, to my husband, um, that I am in prisoner, but that was difficult because uh, they have to understand that it's very big triumph for me and joy to be such a, uh, as a normal actress. They treat me as an actress who have good part in the best show this time in television. Thank you all. Thank you, my friend. Thank you that you uh, writing letters uh, this time. They uh, you writing letters quite few, quite bit of letters. That was every letter was miracle because I am sitting in Poland and doing my job, and suddenly I have letters. When I said to people um, in um, this show, um, M like miłość means L like love, when I was playing good, perfect part, five years, five years, and I was so popular, and after was even fight between production, who gave me only episode, good episode, but that was only episode, and suddenly that was hundreds of thousands letters that they want uh, my character, or, or what name was Simona Miller, um, because she was married a um, German man, as a character, and uh, she has son in Poland, and she came to son, visit him, and she visiting f uh, quite often, and people make, I don't know, that was really 12 million, when I was in it. Yeah, but 12 million, they said. 12, 12 million. million 12, mil yeah. 12 million watching um, the highest rating show my uh, episodes. And my episode was, but that was also trad sad and sort of trad tra tragedy because people want you as an actor, but production is against you because they not thinking like real capitalist uh, business men, they thinking that they, she is going to spoil whole thing, what should be mild character, everything happy, country people, city people. They married, they have children, everything is smooth. And suddenly my character came and make such a completely different uh, atmosphere. Man in love with her. Um, uh, son was uh, problems because uh, she was giving him le lesson what, she, what he should do with women because he had no idea what they should do. So she, she was many characteristic uh, um, sides of this character and people mad about her, really mad, was they, they put in Facebook special page, we want Simona back. <laughs> and that's very young people. That was funny because I was 60 when I was playing Simona and these young ones, they 
1820s. Yeah, bunch of young people really, uh, uh, they put all my photos. I can show you because it's there um, in Facebook. Tell me, we want Simona back. That was sort of like, we want Simona back. And that, that was wonderful. That was honey wow. of my, from, from my heart. But the result was that after five years, they saying that Simona is traveling to Germany and never come back. Oh. Because she was, re yeah, I don't know the word, rebuilt. You build something and somebody is make you broken this, your beautiful palace. So I was uh, making this palace disappear and that because a profile of the serial was country people, city people and very small problems. And I was making everyone, every scene was something like, for example, we drinking coffee with country, my girlfriend. Um, I said to production, why are why we always drinking coffee or tea? This is boring. Give me uh, spirit with uh, with um, Vishnya, Vishnya, sour, sour cherry. Uh, spirit with sour cherry was very favorite drink. Give me this. They give Barbara, my girlfriend. We will be drinking and we'll be talking about men. That will be something. Of course, not real spirit, but that we drinking instead of boring tea, we drinking spirit. And Basha, country girl, who was very like that, and suddenly said, Simona, we have to go to Italy. <laughs> that boy is beautiful. And that was scenario, because they put this in words, that, that, and she played master. That was a wonderful scene, wonderful. When she said, or Simona suddenly moved, uh, Basha, you look too, too much, too much, wrinkles, wrinkles. I have special cream and um, I put mask on you. And when I am putting this mask to my beautiful, and she is say, uh, sitting and say, you sure, you sure that I will be better? <laughs> but she's very country woman, old woman. You think that some boys in Italy will be look at me? No, that was so funny. And people give them entertainment, the scenes. Not only because it was very sad scene, very many problems, they appear five years. So <clears throat> when I left, when I left seri Serial, that was sort of black days for Poland. That's really, that was so, for me, satisfaction. Yep. But they, they was like funeral. <laughs> there you go on. Well, mm -hmm. can I just say on behalf of Tim and myself, yes. you have given us an amazing day. Your oh, hospitality, your wonderful. food, to sit here and celebrate your birthday with you. and also My birthday, learn, beautiful. Learn about your life you. and your career on Prisoner and also meeting your girlfriends. Everything was amazing. The weather's beautiful, and but you, I, I hope thank you, you enough for doing wonderful. this for us. Fantastic! I really, really appreciate it. Fantastic! Thank you, you both. Thank you, everybody, everybody who watching Prisoner. This when it was time for Prisoner. Uh, thank you for watching Hannah Geldschmidt. Uh, thank you for your letters, and uh, thank you production. Wonderful people to me Thanks. and to everybody. Um, thank you that we can organize even sort of protest um, about treating us. Um, I don't want to be political, but I think that prisoner make a lot of wonderful role on this world. And I was a little small part was my Thank you for that. Excellent. Thank you everyone for watching. That was episode 61 of Talking Prisoner. To support our channel, please like and subscribe to our channel and share this interview everywhere you can. And it'll also be available across all the podcast platforms. My name is Matt Batten. Once again, thank you so much for watching. And again, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, Matt.
Last night I dreamed we were together Sharing all the love we'd known Till I had to face the nightmare Of waking up alone On the inside the sun still shines And the rain falls 